by Sylvie Corbett, Matthew Daly and Amr Madhani Washington, Presidents Joe Biden and Emmanuel Macron sat down Thursday for the centerpiece talks of a palm-filled French state visit, with the two leaders eager to talk through the war in Ukraine, concerns about China's increasing assertiveness in the Biden is honoring Macron with the first state dinner of his presidency on Thursday evening, but first the two leaders met in the Oval Office to discuss difficult issues that they face. At the top of the agenda is the nine-month-old war in Ukraine in which Biden and Macron face headwinds as they try to maintain unity in the EU. S and Europe to keep economic and military aid flowing to Kyiv as it tries to repel Russian forces. The choices we make today and the years ahead will date day. Macron at the start of the face-to-face -face meeting acknowledged the challenging times in Ukraine and called on the two nations to better synchronize our actions on climate. This is extremely important, to have close coordination between us on different issues, because we want to fix the direct end. In a joint statement following their meeting that touched on a variety of issues, Biden and Macron said a EU, EU task force on the Inflation Reduction Act would aim to strengthen their partnership on climate in mutually beneficial ways. The leaders began their talks shortly after hundreds of people gathered on the South Lawn on a sunny, chilly morning for the ceremony that included a 21-gun salute and review of troops. Ushers distributed small French and American flags to the guests who gathered to watch Biden and Macron start the state visit. Both leaders at the ceremony paid tribute to their country's long alliance. But they acknowledge difficult moments lay ahead as Western unity shows somewhere nine months into Russia's invasion of Ukraine. In Washington, Republicans are set to take control of the House, where GOP leader Kevin McCarthy has said his party's lawmakers will not write a blank check for Ukraine. Across the Atlantic, Macron's efforts to keep Europe united will be tested by the mounting costs of supporting Ukraine in the war and as Europe battles rising energy prices that threaten to derail the post-pandemic economic recovery. Macron at the arrival ceremony stressed a need for the U and France to keep the West united as the war continues. Our two nations are sisters in the fight for freedom, Macron declared. Amid the talk of maintaining unity, differences on trade were shadowing the visit, 